Get in the gate. This is episode 55. Uh, I am Mitch, and joining me, the full Get Into Gate team, we have Matty. Hello. Woo-hoo! Brendan. Hello. Reese. Oh, g'day there. And for the first time in about 45 episodes, I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln. The Hello. Yeah, welcome back. Oh, yeah. Shit, where's my soundboard? <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. The family. ratings must be dropping, are they? <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe. We'll put a photo on Lincoln, of Lincoln on uh, our socials. Yeah. We're going to make... We're just, this is just an interview. So, Lincoln... <laughs> When did you start liking Stargate? Can you tell us about that? Can you that? flex more while you tell us? Do you know? <laughs> God, we're, oh, we're, wait, wait, we're, re- we're recording it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the swearing rule before we came in. Do you know what I was actually thinking about that? My oldest memory of Stargate was when, Mitch, when me and you lived at the Gold Coast in Salamander Court. And I was sitting there watching Stargate, and it was the episode in season one where Daniel goes to the alternate reality, and then Teal because the like. Oh, it's you know, my oh favorite episode. God, for the no! grace of God. Yes, Maddie loves and it. And then he's walking so through, and then all of a sudden, like his helmet pops up, and it's like it's Teal. And I remember running to Mum in the kitchen, going, "Mum, Teal's a cool guy, but he's all of a sudden a bad guy." And I was like, "Oh." Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like your mum and I had about? the same reaction yeah. that episode. <laughs> oh, all over it. Uh, uh, good episode. Well, there we're not go. breaking down that because, I mean, Maddie, Thank how much God. more enjoyment could you get out of that episode? But that's one of our past And episodes. hate on, can... on social media as well. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. well deserved, I feel. So well, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, going to be breaking down season three, episode 11, past and present. <laughs> we are the Get in the Gate team that we're just going to break down some uh, Stargates here. If you are joining us for the first time, what a weird place to start. But welcome nonetheless. Reese is a uh, first time viewer of all these episodes so we're going to talk about it new viewer to old viewers and uh, let's go to the dvd synopsis as we do each and every week to find out what this is about sg1 encounters an entire planet suffering from amnesia the planet's leader a woman named kira returns to earth with sg1 to find a cure but even as kira and daniel develop a mutual attraction sg1 suspects (laughs) she may not be who she appears to be dun 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 i think even if i lost my memory i wouldn't put a woman in charge (laughs) oh shit I think I might well, actually leave funny, this side. Funny you say that. Because you know what? When we were watching the episode... Funny mate, you say that. Because he... Um, what was what was his old mate's name? Vias? The, the guy... Yeah, whatever the dumbass. his name was. Yes. Um, he and his missus yeah. that ended up being his wife. Anyway, she goes... Uh, he starts walking off with SG-1 and she goes, oh, behave yourself or you won't get supper tonight and I'm like I thought to myself even though they've lost all recollection of how things have ever been <laughs> yeah, in the world yeah. they still know that women cook the men's supper yeah. at dinner <laughs> and she's nagging him <laughs> she's like <laughs> She's whinging, husband. whinging that, whinging that. <laughs> don't expect sub up. Never do. My yes. husband. Whinging husband. that he's Be flirting with dinner. other women. <laughs> I'm making spaghetti. <laughs> the demon comes for me. No, oh, no. Yeah, it's a whole planet with an angel. This is actually a pretty fun sort of concept. I like the idea that we're, we're playing with. Yeah, what would happen if all of a sudden you just had to just pick up where you don't know where you left off and just mm. yeah restart society? But what I like about what did you say, Vice? The dude, the dumbass guy. The dumbass yeah. guy. Like, what I like about him, he's he's still a little bit clever though. Like, basically, he's his actual wife, but he doesn't know that. So he's not. A, I'm pretty sure we were married. He's like, nah, definitely not. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> we but, um, married you I, if she I, was around. We woke up next to each other, but I definitely want the hot. <laughs> chick I, I want the really upstairs. hot, really smart leader chick. I'm pretty sure we were married. Yeah, that definitely makes yeah. sense that yeah, we, yeah. me and her would be married. It's like, mm. well, you don't know what's going he's on, but you know a what's 10 going as on. Well, like he's, you know. Yeah. Oh, he sucks up really well. Mm. So, <laughs> SG One come into the to this world. I can't remember what the name of it was, but there's no Malp in the gate room, and I there's no that. and there's a cloth over the DHD. So they haven't learnt from Torment of Tantalus <laughs> that you have to check the DHD with the Malp. Yeah, make sure you can dial so you can back. Get your way back. And I'm going. Come on, guys. Oh, just Carter, think about Carter's it. Carter's got magic vines in her bag. They'll just dial manually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe they do have a um. What do you call it? Well, they could have a knackle, knackle, knackle generator. generator. Or a 1967 Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> they were under the other. car battery. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it. That'll work. So the Vorlex. Well, the the map could have been behind all those boxes in there. When they first come through... No. They... <laughs> I checked. Oh, good no. I went, I went I frame it. by fucking <laughs> frame. It's not in there. And I'm so glad I can say that point on air. Thank you. Um, when, when, I fir- when I first looked at it and they went 
through the gate into the warehouse. I'm like, oh shit, that's the second gate. Someone's gonna be coming. Someone's coming through there. Yeah, because yeah, they that's obviously cool. got the second gate in some. They got the jeeps somewhere. in there. Yeah, the jeeps <laughs> in case boxes. Yeah. Like they had those green boxes. Like military have they have green boxes as well. So, you know, it could have been as legit. Could yeah. have been it. Oh, how convenient! It wasn't. It wasn't. Well, so you would you would have got some good background for Tilk then. Have we got a grab for that? Tilk. No, nah, no grabs. So uh, <laughs> Tilk means strength, apparently. Yeah, and I, I, I wrote, it, I wrote I mean, it down, but then, I didn't get then like grab. half the Jafar like species would be called Tilk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, they're like you're either born strong or you die. You know, yeah. weak <laughs> means death. So it's just kind of like. So I, what does uh, shackle mean? Yeah, like. <laughs> Attention, true luck. Unfortunately, the word that means strength also now means traitor. Uh, <laughs> we're sorry the lines have been blurred. Yeah, but well, continue. Know, what yeah. confuses me so, is when Jackson introduced SG One to him, and he's like, "This is Major Carter and Jack O'Neill and Tilt." And I'm like, "Wouldn't you say if you're calling Major Carter, wouldn't you say Colonel, Colonel O'Neill? Jack O'Neill?" Yeah, just yeah. because you've known him a long time, mate. Yeah. Okay. Respect the rank. <laughs> we're only saying last week. I forget which one of you boys was saying, Maddie Brennan, said, that. Yeah, his wife dies this episode, but don't worry, he doesn't keep it in his pants for too long. <laughs> like, yeah. at all. No, long at all. Like, oh, it's the next day, oh, I might as well get back on the wagon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she's a co- she's Fall down seven times, get up, mate. <laughs> she's a destroyer of worlds. Yeah, but not anymore. Yeah. Like She can destroy fucking, my yeah. dick. Look at her. <laughs> she can do it. <laughs> she's f***ing hot now. Don't kill her. It's the best chance I've had since my wife died. <laughs> when was that? It was like on the weekend. Yeah, it was last week sometime. <laughs> I think I'm checking out a, the checking out the final version of a gravestone next week, so it's you know it's, yeah. it's been enough time. <laughs> you just float her, yeah. wouldn't you? So did you pick up on <laughs> with who, the sunnies on top? Who she might have been? Did you think ahead about the whole Linnea yeah, when reveal? Did you it or it was yeah when she started uh, when they said oh we'll take some people back to the SGC and then she was like I'll go I'll go and I'm like something's not right here like why she's so keen to go and then when they get there she's like. Oh, can we go up? You know, in uh, outside ab- above, and Jackson's mm. like, "Oh, not really." I'm like, "There's something not right." Here. Like, yeah. Are you tolling? Mm. Then definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> if you can get out yourself, yeah. by all means, yeah. go for it. But going. we're not going to yeah. escort you out. Unless I mean, there's not bad security. There's they're pretty bad security, so you can probably just stroll out. But how, not while we're watching, while we're on it, how? F- shit is the security in Stargate Command. <laughs> it's supposedly the most secure facility on the face of the planet, yeah. yet like an Ashrak just sort of walks up, places yeah. the thing over it, one, Christian se- one, se- in. one security guard reading a fucking magazine. You want to get some that- orange sherbet. Yeah, yeah. There's a metal detector at best, and that's yeah. it. One. One. Yeah. Not even like sliding doors. It might as well place ticket in there, scan your barcode and keep walking through. <laughs> it is so it's horrible. Just a, it's just a, uh, what's the secret password? Yeah. Oh, um, I can't remember what it was this week. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, New that's England right. clam chowder. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you're wearing a military uniform. You should be good. Yeah. <laughs> good it's enough. an older password, sir, but it's still checked. <laughs> <out>. <laughs> <laughs> so you, when they were talking about that, did you not trust her? Did you think, okay, this could be her, but you don't trust that she doesn't remember who she was? I thought... I thought it it might have been her in a different form or a different body, but I didn't I didn't guess that it was her actually her mm. in a, in her younger self because at at the time I'm like looking at the the uh, the title of the episode I'm like past and present I'm like I'm like they can't be like they can't have gone back in time because that doesn't make sense like without a mirror they can't really. Um, you know, go into a different dimension sort of thing. I don't know. Like, there's so many questions, but I just didn't pick that specific one. Mm. So how, you thought it was Linnea. Did you actually put that together? No. When they were talking about it, th- it this woman might be Linnea. Oh, okay. When I, was, I was like, oh, she might be. A she's different. brilliant with chemicals. Would have been, it would have been a cool yeah. twist if it was just like that other old hag bitch, like the, the annoying naggy one that was like, he won't get your supper if that was actually <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Old time yeah. plot twist. Yeah. 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 And he was that's, married that's to her. That's the M. Night Shyamalan version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. trees did it. The trees were the Vorlex. Because <laughs> I think for my while I love the concept of it with, you know, where do you get to as a society when you start, you know, halfway through the race, but you can't remember the beginning of it. It was also like the ultimate rehabilitation question as well. Like Linnea, she's back to before she did all this awful stuff. So... Is she rehabilitated? Like, yeah. if you 
like like I guess what Daniel was saying, do we punish the person that hasn't done anything wrong yet? Like she's gone back yeah. in time in her own body. It's, that, it's the philosophical debate of nature versus nurture. Yeah. It's like, well, okay, mm. if, if Hitler was yeah. you know, rewound in time and had a different upbringing, would he still become Hitler? Mm. You know? It's but like, a really interesting but sci-fi. Daniel Skywalker, yeah. for instance. <laughs> <laughs> but Daniel's argument, like that's what I wrote down. Like basically his, his pitch was, sure, she's a multi-genocidal maniac, but I fucked her, so set her free. Yeah, like, yeah. was his whole argument? Yeah. Like, I feel like if he... If, <laughs> I've did, worked on this bit for one day. I don't want to waste okay, well, that. First of all, did they, did they fuck or did they just make out? No, was there, no, no, nah. They, they no. cut was away. They cut away. Oh, I'm sure definite she's sex. giving him a blow at least. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't remember how to do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> she's just so... Oh God. God. She's, she's like, so just talented. Like, he came to her defense pretty <laughs> quick. I feel like he kind of just like throws his entire argument away. It's like, if they didn't you know, use the power of penises to like you know get those two together yeah. like his argument would have been so much more valid it's like I feel like we didn't and I feel too it. there must have been a good amount of time between them having sex and him defending her because don't they say that in the immediate after effect of a man having sex that's when he thinks most clear that's when he's at, at, at <laughs> yeah. 100% clarity, most clarity because yeah. he's not Absolutely. thinking with his dick at that point uh, why did yeah. I do that so like he's obviously it's, 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 it's gone on long <laughs> enough it's gone on long enough he's went Oh, there's a chance I might get able to get uh, get back into bed with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't care yeah. what she did. I'll, I'll Kill just, the planet. I, I thought what? that was so hilarious because when he goes into the room and she's like, "Oh, what's wrong?" and there's just two guards now standing out the out that's the door. What and I'm my like, concern I'm is. like, that's the best way to break up with a chick. Just put two armed guards <laughs> outside her front door and walk away. But, you know, while we're on that subject, because you I was just thinking about that. My thought about those armed guards, I feel sorry for those dudes. Hey, like, top secret clearance, you know, honey, I've got the fucking, you know, level six clearance of the of the world, you know, I'm working in this facility, what's your job? I stand outside a room while SG-1 f***s their female prison. Like, okay, so when Teal... make sure they don't like, follow there's them There's been out. episodes where Teal's had, like, you know, a bird in there, and then, like, he goes in and they just start getting it on. Yeah. Daniel Jackson has more birds than Captain Kirk, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's just like, what? I feel so bad for those armed guards because they just have to stare and be like, yeah. I'm one, not going to say one anything. One guard- oh, honey, yeah, honey, what's what's happening now? Uh, just a recently widowed scientist having sex with an alien. What are yeah. you doing? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. They've probably got bets on. All right, I got five minutes. Yeah. How long is he going to last? What? I, I thought Jackson was an absolute douchebag when he's trying to nail home his point and to the point where... No one's agreeing with him, so he just goes all out and attacks Tilk for no reason. Like, yeah. mm. well, the way I saw it too, like last week his wife died, and that whole episode in turn is just him, is Share telling him to forgive Tilk. And the whole time, Tilk, she's saying, Forg- You have to forgive Tilk. You have to forgive Tilk. And then Tilk shoots her, and he goes, Immediately, you did the right thing. Yeah. And then he's probably thinking, why did I say that so quickly? Like, yeah. <laughs> this guy made my wife for Gould, then he shot her in the f-ing face. Could have shot her in the <laughs> hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally shot her yeah. right in the chest. The- but, yeah. He's right in the thing that, that like, you know, yeah. was controlling the ribbon, the ribbon device. Like, yeah. he could have shot her right in that or yeah. in the shoulder or something. Yeah. So many things he so, could have done. But he's like, yeah. oh, I'm going to go he for was the just, kill shot. <laughs> he was just sick of her. He's looking out for Daniel. You know what I mean? You need yeah. to get over this bitch. <laughs> Boom. Bang. See you later. Straight yeah. in the face. You, can you, need, you com- need a breakup. Yep, That's you what you need. <laughs> so, so now I just feel like Daniel's just venting by just saying, oh, remind me, too, what was your former like, occupation? Yeah, yeah. It just seems weird that all the Tilk Sharae stuff that we've spoken about... Daniel has never been pissy towards Teal. Yeah. And then this chick shows up, this old chick who's suddenly young, who he wants to bang or is banging or whatever. And he's like, he gets, he gets more petty and nasty with Teal over that. Yeah. Then Sharae being turned into a ghoul and then mm. killing her. Mm. It's like, yeah. it's like he's the opposite of then? King Midas. Like every woman he touches turns to <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> turns to a friggin' Dead. Dead. Uh... Death. Turns dead. But Teal just turns around and goes, I was the first prime of Apophis. Yeah, yeah Tilk's like, just full of honor. Yeah, I'm not he's hiding just like, my yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm, he's in his in his head. He's like, I'm pretty sure you know what I used <laughs> yeah. to do. It's like, mate, last week I shot your wife dead and then said, sorry, not sorry, I'd do it again. Yeah. <laughs> you really think this is going to cut me? It's like, come you on, man. I'm scared of you for us. <laughs> I'm f***ing Tilk. <laughs> I wish I was f***ing Tilk. <laughs> uh, checking that. <laughs> <laughs> when they were making that antidote, I thought when it when it stuffed up the first time, I'm like, 
oh, she's trying to make a play like this, <laughs> yeah. this you know, like, oh, it didn't work. He's still alive. I'm going to try, like, you know, let's yeah, try yeah. something else again. <laughs> I, I was like, so shady on her. I got so immature. I, don't, I, did, I did no intent to do it, but like when they tried that first antidote and he's like, I, I feel something. I feel something. And I was just waiting for it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you got a boner. It's like yeah. she invented Viagra. Yeah. It's just, I think it's, it's so funny that it's like they're literally giving him a serum to like rewrite his brain chemistry and they're surprised when he goes into convulsions. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what else did you expect did him to do? something wrong. Yeah, and they get all, yeah, she gets all up and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Dude, you're literally experimenting with shit <laughs> with yeah. something that no one knows what the fuck happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut yourself. Some you shit. just yeah. think you were just going to go, oh my God, I remember everything. It's a mm. miracle. For just, me, like, I, I actually really like the, the memory drug side. Like, I would like to see that explored. I know it's one of those other things that we just add to the category of we never see it again. But, Mate, you've got to say it the right way. Yeah. And, and we, we never, never see it again. again. Because I, I don't know exactly <laughs> how... Lincoln's <it's>... confused. <laughs> <laughs> listen so, to a f***ing podcast we... once in your life, yeah. mate. <laughs> <laughs> all those all the time. Did. Maybe you could just listen to a podcast yeah. every day. Driving day. out the western coast of Australia. What are we going to do? Yeah. Nothing. I'll just listen to silence. Last time I listened yeah. to your thing about how cool and stoic Teal'c is when getting fired at by f***ing bounty hunter or yeah. Oris oh, Bach or whatever. Eris <laughs> Bach flash. Yeah, it just fucking ah! shoots at him like a centimeter from his face. He's like, yeah, yeah. boy. I think yeah. my favorite thing about the antidote, she goes, this must be injected into the carotid artery. I'm like, why? Mm. Yeah, how oh, do you know this? How do you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So spot on. I'm just like stabbing people in the neck. What? Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like two days ago, you were holding a cloth up to someone's nose to cure their food allergies. Yeah. It's like, really? Now this has to go straight into your heart. And this one up yeah, your how ass. How does she know more about that with amnesia than Fraser does? Yeah. Seriously. No, didn't Fraser say it needs to go straight into the... No. Oh, maybe. Pretty no. sure it was. Because she's like, know. okay, you ready? Boom. <laughs> Cop this in. one. I was <laughs> like, oh, there's no waiting. I thought Linnea said it needs to go straight into the carotid artery, artery and, and Fraser took it oh, off her and goes, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah right. Because like yeah. then there was another part where... Uh, we'll we'll Fra- take it from Fraser here. Fraser was kind of going like, oh, he's up there, love. Are you sure you know what you're doing? And she's like, oh, yeah, we'll do it one part per thousand. You'll be fine. And then mm. Fraser's like, oh, okay, she knows what she's talking about. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. She said no. All my reservations yeah. are out the window. Know. My medical degree. Yeah. 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 Where'd you get your degree? Don't remember. Yeah. Seems legit to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On she's a wearing plan- a lab coat and a yeah. stethoscope. She knows what she's talking <laughs> on about. A, on a planet, basically, you know, this is what, the Bronze Age or something like mm. that. Mm. Oh, you know, that's fine. Yeah. Now, the um the memory drug sort of took me back to what I, I think we're talking about with uh, the Tokra when. Jacob was offered the the symbiote to cure his cancer, but then mm. also be an agent for the Tokra. And you know, we were talking about maybe that's what you could do with you know other soldiers. Someone that comes back from war that's lost a limb yeah. or you know otherwise injured, so to the point where they can't go and serve their country mm. is well, and they don't have a family. Like it'd have to be a very sort of you know niche sort of group of people that would be applicable. But you could have them go and become these middlemen between Earth and the Tokra. For me, it's almost like you could death row people. Do you get someone like Linnea, people that are on death row on Earth, give them this memory drug, offer them up to the Tokra as more hosts, because mm. then they're not evil, but they're people that otherwise <laughs> yes. we don't want no, on it, Earth, it's right? It's not f***ing dark. No, it's, oh, not, no, no, it's, was, it's actually, it's a, like, it, that's actually like a suitable the application. This, like, wasn't, yeah. this, this wasn't, wasn't even like a... And we're talking about how many of ours are just like... Like a lobotomy, this and then there you go. Yeah, yeah but it's like... Hey, yeah, but like, fresh. Take it. doesn't Jesus. seem like a waste. Like, people, it's like, oh, look, we're going to sell them together to a human centipede, but we're going to wipe their memories of it, so it'll be fine. No, f- this me. is the way it's always it's been. Well, we're just like, it's like, okay, well, ja- but uh, this for is me, it's, it's like the next step, right? Jacob had cancer. It's like, well, he's going to die on Earth, or you can go and work for aliens and have an alien live in your brain. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. Yeah, Sweet. he's an Air Force general, I get not a criminal that. No, on death row. Yeah, that but we can just experiment with. Well, same thing. What do you mean? What's worse, though? <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, but I just I can't get... feel like one of the guys around these no, guys. No, okay, right. So, so someone's, well, let's just no, say, right. like... someone's on death row, so you're either going to stick them in, it, it's right in the artery, um, with a bunch <laughs> of poison and watch them die in front of, you know, victims. Because and... they're a criminal. I get that, but rather than just kill people and go, now we're done with it, it's like, let's put you to better use. <laughs> by taking you back to becoming a blank slate yeah. and offering you up so you can actually contribute something with your with your life. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm not saying we should do it. it. I'm okay. just wondering whether the memory so that's, drug that's, has that's, come back into it no, no, and that we can play with it a little bit. There's a sci-fi movie or a show or something like that, and it's the equivalent of it's like um, someone loses their hand and they get a donated hand attached to their body and they find out that it was the hand of a pedophile. Would you want that? <laughs> <laughs> 
those. It's so like bad. wood. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Val. Thank you, Val. Yeah. yeah. Good I'm analogy. Like, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm right at all. I'm just like, I actually would like to see it experimented with the memory joke. Like, as, as a real Toker world. I want that. Would the Toka go, oh, yeah, I'd like it. I think the only the only speed bump would be the, the moral things of the Toka going, look, where, you know. Yeah. This is going free on. Free will. Right, yeah, right. but isn't yeah, but no, no, no. Yeah. I, I think it's I, I think it's very like what you're saying. You know, free will. I didn't even actually consider the, the whole free will like, rule for the Tokra. Yeah, things going yeah on. the yeah. Tokra has to uh, agree with the yeah. host. Yeah. That, uh, the Tokra's going to go nowhere. A dying race. race. Oh, you're right. Well, here you go. Here's an abundance of people. Like the Tokra's like this one's a pedophile. This one's a skinhead. They're going to want to join our club. They're like, oh, okay. So what's this one's background? And the guy's like, I don't know. And then they ask SG one. SG one's like, oh, we're not sure. Oh, we don't. Uh, <laughs> I did. I did think Linnea's turn was really good from when she took the antidote. Mm. That was excellent. There's a part of me that cares for you, Daniel. Oh yeah. More than I've cared for anyone I've ever known. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. I would gladly watch you die. Step aside, Daniel. Don't. There's another way, Jack. Move. No. Give me the vial, security. You don't need to do this. There Fuck are this, two people inside of me. They were, uh, there we <laughs> <laughs> you beat me by half a second. <laughs> she will win. You won't hurt me. Because there's another way, Kira. I'm yeah, it was right there. That was good. Yeah, it was like she... the Bilbo Baggins she... moment for me. Oh, yeah. totally, yeah. It's like good. the black See, eyes. That part pissed me off because when Jack come in with his handgun and then um, Daniel jumps in the way, I'm like... I wish Jack just grabbed him by the collar, mm. yanked him out of the room, and mm. shot her in the head. That's one of the yeah. times when a zat would have been more helpful because he could just zat Daniel, zat her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, the amount of times you go, why didn't they just zat her? Mm. I, I can <laughs> yeah. talk about this. Or the en- yeah. just the entire, just take her out, <laughs> bang. Yeah, straight just up, ki- just straight up kill her. Like, I'm sorry, like Daniel, I'm sorry, <laughs> no, you're, you're gonna, gonna get, get Daniel out of the way yeah, first. Like, well, that's what shielding, I'm saying. Man. Like, grab him by the collar, pull him back, and go, "Oi, this is a military base. Tell, get on your bike." Like, and shoot her in the face. Sorry, Daniel, that your feelings got hurt. Well, she was threatening to bloody poison herself anyway, so you close the door and go do your business. Yeah. Catch you later. <laughs> Do it. Go. It no, great. actually, don't because they, we're, we're going to have to clean up the the yeah. mess. You know, we're going to have to like blood coming out your no, eyes. No, well, even that, yeah. it's like we're going to have to disinfect all the gas in the room. So it's just like, yeah. look, we'll hold you in front of the forming event horizon, and that way you just go. Like, yeah, yeah. They've done old it in school. Episodes. Yeah, old school. Yeah. Just, they're, they're gone. That, that was they, her. That was her. One yeah, before. take it back to prisoners. Yeah, 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 they literally cease to exist. So it's just like, look, if you want to do it, you don't need to get the gas. Just go stand there and go turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's really not an issue. It's going to cost us a billion dollars yeah. to turn it on, but yeah. Yeah, it's worth it. I think I forgot the way this episode ended, too, because once they wiped her memory again and she'd had the clean slate for the second time, I'm like, Daniel, are they just leaving? Going for second. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm like, are they just going to throw her out into the world and just hope yeah. for the best? She's going to go work at, you know, Wendy's yeah. or something? And yeah. I'm like, that's a. Like that's a that's a ticking time bomb. Potentially, we don't know whether she's going to regain those well, memories. She, remember, was... she started to remember the first time. Yeah, and it's like she retained all her knowledge of exactly. chemicals and, yeah. and you know science then, and that sort of stuff. I'm I like, thought no, like... she gave herself the antidote though. She did. Yeah. yeah, she was curious about it, so she gave herself the antidote and then started to remember. She didn't know that she was Linnea. She obviously had her knowledge of all these different things, but when they started experimenting with the antidote, then she yeah. was just like they she wouldn't let her, her touch it. She was yeah. getting. She was starting to clue on to the fact that they were being. Mm really different towards her than they were towards the other two people. Well, see, my so that's when she grabbed the stuff was like, you know what? F- this, I'm going to try it myself. My takeaway though is like, well, if she, re- if she regained all, a lot of her scientific knowledge, it's like maybe within another two or three years time, it would start to wear off and everybody would start to regain their memories. Mm, so yeah. it's like, it's, it's a very convenient kind of wrap up at the 44 did, minute mark. Didn't, that, didn't they say there was just a certain part of their memories that were blocked? Yeah. Yep. Well, instead of just not, not wiped, but just blocked. Yeah, it was a blockage. Is it, is it all of their memories, or was it just that, like, just certain? No, it was just it was uh, like memory in general. So, yeah, because well, yeah, I mean, they the still Vorilex knew how happens. to talk. They still knew, obviously, how to operate <laughs> yeah. certain yeah, everything. Right. Yeah. So, from the moment the Vorilex happens, anything before that, it's literally like closing the door on accessing yeah. memories. But I feel yeah. like so there was like, little, there was little hints along the way that certain things stick in the brain. It's like that that annoying couple instinctually, subconsciously were drawn together. They well, there were, you go, instinctually. Together. So it wasn't actually a memory thing. It was just they they were so, like, you know, they were continuously yeah. so, drawn so what I'm saying is, is that that could happen to 
um, Linnea is like instinctually in a year's time, she could turn back into the evil destroyer of worlds. So I found it was a really convenient kind of wrap up to everything. You just go, oh no, we'll wipe her again yeah, and she'll be fine. But going into that, in going into that timeline, you sort of think maybe it could be a matter of circumstances after that. Like, you know, who knows what uh, real Linnea's backstory was, but oh, yeah, now po- like post Vorilex, she could but, be like, you know, hap- like all the people that are like, they know, you know, they're supporting her. They're happy. She's helping people. Like even a year of doing it. And with, with all of them suffering amnesia and stuff, so now that they probably know and everything like that, they're going to, like, obviously, you know, cater to all that kind of stuff, and she's around all these people, helping people, yeah. doing this, doing that. I mean, that's yeah, obviously the, whole, the yeah. whole purpose of the episode right. is that it's the nature versus nurture it's yeah. kind of thing. So, yeah, it is obviously just still, it's still a big risk that... You're but obviously... Right. The, these people don't remember all the bad stuff she did. They just remember mm. Kira doing good stuff and being a leader. Yeah. So I think but, that's why she she gained enough goodwill for them to go, you know what? We'll take a second chance on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when they regained their memories at the end, those two, they still knew what she did. They they right? they told them, yeah. They were like, well, they they made them aware. Well, the stuff on, yeah, on their they, planet, they would but they don't know anything Linnea did before that. They only know that yeah, she was the right. cause of the, of the Vorlix. Yeah. But mm. I think, yeah, all the but good those, stuff she'd done since then kind of bought her a lot of goodwill back. Mm. That they were like, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll, give, we'll you a, give her a try. We'll give yeah, you a second yeah, chance. Yeah. It's hot, just it's funny fine. how SG1 let her go once and then let her go again. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, that's why I feel that that's what they do when, when it's better off to kill that person. Like Cassandra, they should have let, left her <laughs> in, that, <laughs> in that vault deep down in the. Yeah. You know, but whether they, she was going to explode they or not. Yes. They, they yes. Her, yeah. Throw away the. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's the Game of Thrones <laughs> ending, is but they just leave her in there. Yeah. Yes. But then every time they should have Shame. killed the person at the end, <laughs> they let him go. Like they yeah. just they just need to get mm. over and done with. I understand it's you know, yeah. PG or whatever. But well, yeah. and that's what sci fi does best, it's that moral dilemma. It's like, well, sometimes the yeah. right thing to do isn't the easiest thing to do. I still so <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm wondering what, what, what level of dilemma though. Like when they could have let her go off and around Earth and you know, hope for the best and Daniel and her start dating or whatever, but instead <laughs> they send her back to that world. And it's like, well, she could be a ticking time bomb back there, but like, whatever. It's just like, hey, uh, when we send you guys through, just close the gate. Why? Yeah. Uh, you never know, just in case um, yeah. anything bad happens yeah. on your end. If you could just, yeah. um, just throw the DHD into a kawoosh or something, <laughs> so you can never dial <laughs> us back it. again. Yeah, yeah. Throw this, yeah, throw the Stargate into the ocean. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just, you know, you'll be fine. You guys will be fine. The only thing I had was Daniel's, at one point, Daniel's glass glasses, like the nose bridge part was bent mm. in. That was annoying me. <laughs> nah, cool. Yeah, I'm glad you Hashtag, brought that hashtag up. Hashtag glasses uh, wearer. <laughs> good chat. <laughs> what not, else is boring? That's not gonna uh, get. <laughs> that's not gonna get cut. Yeah. It's good. It's good one. Jack. Um, it was on the wiki. I say uh, I just brought it up. Oh, so you didn't notice it? You just saw it on the wiki. <laughs> yeah. I just my, the wiki was my excuse. I read, not it, to be I read it on wiki and then it annoyed me, <laughs> yeah. so I had to bring it up in the f-ing podcast. Jack did have a good little moment. I found. <laughs> Just skills. literally puts his fingers in his ears and <laughs> yeah. la 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 don't listen. Hey, that's that's a good kernel good. right there. He's <laughs> yeah. just like, oh, I was even supposed to be here today. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna lay down with this Linnea <laughs> bullshit again. <laughs> it's my rusty yeah. day off today. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and this is the uh, last episode. Oh no, second last episode of this disc, and we've been going through all the special features um, on each disc, just for those who are watching it on streaming services like Reese, who don't actually mm. get all these amazing classic 90s tragic Ooh, I think you might be able to get them on Stargate Command no yeah I think YouTube um, yeah I, I, tr- this one. I, I got uh, no I mean go yeah, ofi- go official and pay for it obviously yeah oh, you, apparently you need money <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, but yeah wow. um, every every right. disc this season has been doing like a little profile on each character so this one is on our beloved Teal once he was the guardian for the galaxy's most feared enemy. He's what? Star Lord? Right? Then yeah. Colonel O'Neill offered him a chance at Different freedom. Different voiceover guy. Now yeah. he's been transformed into a vital and entrusted member of SG-1. And there's no question, Teal <laughs> has become one of the most fascinating characters ever created for a science fiction ever. television series. I wouldn't have thought so. Captain Superlative. My character is a, a, a 97-year-old uh, Jafar. Boom. And I, I carry yeah. the larval form of the gods. And through my 97 years, I have traveled in between many worlds that we have placed these stargates on. And I've seen many different life forms, m- many Did different uh, <laughs> species of life. I interject my knowledge of 
their life and their the existences of life that I know yeah, about. Doing the hard sell, along with the, yeah. the, the scientific knowledge of, of Carter they and do that the historical knowledge early on. of uh, well, this Daniel was recorded Jackson during season one, and uh, just kind of the tongue in cheek knowledge of O'Neill, and uh, that kind of makes up the, the whole complete. Sounds team. so different, I mm. Since joining SG One, yeah. Teal has braved one deadly battle after another. Which he kind of done. And volunteered for the Before most that. perilous <laughs> missions. But one thing always <laughs> remains. That mysterious gold emblem seared into his forehead. It's not really mysterious. This brand <laughs> was everything uh, about it. Worn by it was in season race, one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. when they made this. Jaffa, which signifies the uh, imperial guard of the, the imperial serpent guard, and we are in service to the uh, Goa'ulds. Um, and the gold in it uh, signalizes I am the first prime, which is the leader of all the serpent guards. And these are actually branded on us when we are young. And as we go through the different ranks, they are different colors. Well, that went out when window. I defect, yeah. I mean, I can With, uh, discard protect. all my armaments mm. and all of my the the apparel that I've taken. But once I've decided to leave the Serpent Guard, this is the one aspect of that that I am left with and that I will carry for the rest of my life, even though I have broken away from, from the Serpent Guard. If there was a Stargate, I would definitely be the first. I know for the yeah. list of people going <laughs> through, I, I just think it's it's incredibly short-sighted, or if if not just naive, to think that we are all alone in this vast universe, and Spot on, just mate. to to go somewhere else and and see what else is out there. What oh, what, what what a tremendous experience that would be. If I was to I'm go sure in the to. wall of water, <laughs> I just love that. Um, like these are obviously recorded as the pilot was airing, so it's like every every. Uh, actor on the show is like, you know, plugging their show, going, watch it, watch it, yeah. watch it. It's a show called Stargate, and the interview was like, oh, would you go through the Stargate? And yeah. they're like, yes, I would go through the Stargate yes, of my of new show called Stargate. Have you, that have I want you watched you to watch. the show? I've gone through it. Here. I don't know, it seems kind of dangerous. I, I just and got hired, so I, I don't want to say no, I wouldn't go yeah. through the Stargate. <laughs> um, that's That brings up, like, I was just thinking there how, he's, how he said he carries that emblem with him um, for the rest of his life. Like, I wonder if he. As his character hates that emblem in his on his head, I know Christopher Judge does by like season six. <laughs> oh, just from wearing it. Christopher yeah. Judge is like, um, <laughs> can we get rid of the friggin' emblem on my head? He just for season yeah. after season, he's like, can we get rid of it? And they're like, no. Can we get yeah, rid of it? Cool. No. Can we you get rid of it? No. no. Yeah. 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 So yeah, literally. He has, he has a few other you're changes. You're gone before the symbol's yeah. gone. Like, yeah. like you're yeah. good, but the symbol's, the symbol's great. Yeah, it's like when you die from a staff blast, you will go, but yeah. the symbol will be left yeah, behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be like a mural. You shoot him with a zat three times, and the emblem's the only the emblem thing stays, yeah. Well, maybe we could cut it off, and you can have a puke stain where the, the yeah. emblem used to be. But it'll take twice as long in makeup, brother. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe you choice. can advertise shit. You know, like cut it off and have the Pepsi symbol up there or some shit. Like, <laughs> oh, product placement stuff. Stargate's jumped the shark. Yeah. I love the Batman symbol, thanks. <laughs> they, could, they could just keep putting him in ridiculous hats. Yeah. Oh, oh, mate, they do. Trust yeah. me, they do. It gets and it's better. amazing. It's like anyway, what my original bad. question was, uh, the moral dilemma of <laughs> Tilk. Like, um, you know, obviously he hates the uh, hates Apophis that much, and to have an emblem mm. of someone so loyal to Apophis on his head that he, you know, would he, would he morally hate that now? You know what I mean? I, I wonder if I he would does like it as like it a too. symbol of defiance. He's like, my yeah. God branded me with this symbol mm. to be his number one, and I've just thrown it back in his face, and I'm going to use this symbol as a, as a sign of my rebellion. Mm. Yeah. And it just it's a giant gear to a pop. It's all about how you look at it, isn't it? That's it, mate. That, and I mean, you take that off, but he doesn't look very alien, and it's cheap. It's cheap. <laughs> it's cheaper than doing the pouch every time because there's so much. <laughs> it's almost a bragging right too. It. It's like, yeah, it's it's like on, yeah, this is my gold medal, whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, my, uh, my God, head. this didn't mean much to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, I guess. Yeah. It's oh, this thing, this thing. Oh, sorry, I didn't even notice it. It's like, okay. <laughs> It's, he, well, he and Braytac are in like their own little club. Yeah. Like, it's just those two yeah, that, have, that have got the gold Golds symbol. only. Yeah. Yeah. F*** off. <laughs> so my question to Link was, I know you're a huge, massive Stargate fan. Yes, sir. What do you think of Stargate Command and Origins? Are you all, all, all over that? Oh, yeah. I mean, being an avid listener of our podcast, I'm sure you've been <laughs> all over like, it. We, we've had a whole podcast or two about it. Yeah. So. Oh, Lincoln's heard it. So, but yeah, I was interested to, to know... 
So Origins is going to be 10, 10 minute episodes <laughs> on a live on a, like a Netflix streaming service called Stargate Command. That only mm. shows Stargate, and you pay twenty dollars, and you get an eight month subscription that's down to about five months now. Mm. Yeah. So after mm. that, so after that time frame, all your bonus content leaves. Yeah, it's like Netflix going. Okay, you can only you can only watch previews now. You can't actually watch any, any television shows after May. So what they're saying so is that. They're going to record it. They're going to record. <laughs> I know, it's confusing. No, no, correct. <laughs> they're going to record a movie length. Good gear. A, yeah. a movie length story it's, episode. Yeah, story. Yeah. yeah. And release it ten minutes each week. And well, do we know that it's each week yet? Well, we're not sure. No. Yeah. Well, we thought it was this year, but it's actually in the recent trailer. It's 2018. Yeah, Mitch yeah. called it. Mitch was like, "It's never yeah. happening in 2017." So, but you can't just go onto a website and watch it. You have to pay twenty bucks. Uh, sign up fee, but actually internationally to... it's thirty nine. But you get a free T shirt, so that's... Right. I think that's a fucking rot. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then and then so it's it's ten ten minute episodes about Catherine Powers in the nineteen. 19- Catherine Powers. Powers. <laughs> 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 hey, whoa, 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 Sign me the. F- <laughs> Wait, here's a hundred. <laughs> let's not, let's not fuck around. We'd all watch that. <laughs> Say no more. Wow. Freudian slip. Uh, uh, Catherine so Langdon. Catherine Langford. Langford. Um, <laughs> as, as like a... <laughs> again, close, again, oh, correct. Closer yeah. than this <laughs> <laughs> And he's actually fucking watched and listened to shit, all right? Jeez. So <laughs> <you are>. Jesus. <laughs> um, so it's, it's her okay. as like a young 20 or 30 something girl... But it's called Stargate Origins. She's an Aussie actor, actress. actress yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ellie Gold. Yeah. Gaul. Gaul. I'm not Something sure like how that. you pronounce so, that. Yeah, we're not exactly sure how it's going to go, but mm. what do you what do you how what does that thoughts sound on to you? that? How's that sit with you? Yeah, so yeah, I'm friends with her on Facebook, so yes. Yeah, so it's set oh, it. get her in the show, mate. Oh, get us a fucking interview. Here's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Set in 1945. Just write to her now. Just tell her we're talking about her. What's up? Yeah. Do it. Look, um, personally, I think that's a bit of I think that's a, a bit bullshit to sort of go. We're going to release ten, ten minute episodes, and you have to pay this amount of money for it. Rah, rah, rah. It's, I, I mean, your Instagram story is more can't, interesting than that. Thank you, but you can't. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I don't know how to take that. No, that was legit. <laughs> ah, thanks. The, th- the <laughs> well, thing saying, is, they go for about the same amount of time. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yours is sorry. more interesting. Yeah. So, no, I was just going to say the thing is that you can't view it anywhere except for this subscription website. Right. So they're not going to air it on TV. Um, no direct to DVD movies like Arc of yeah. Truth or Continuum. Yeah. Mm. And if they if it's if it is on DVD, you have to buy ten separate DVDs. <laughs> 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 they come on. They actually they come on laser disc. Okay. <laughs> ten USBs. What, do, what would you, you think they could possibly do? Because if you think about Torment of Tantalus, I don't want to go on too much, but you think about Torment of Tantalus, mm. and you think about the episode nineteen sixty nine. Mm. Clearly, she didn't know the Stargate could open mm. until the movie. Mm. Where do you think the story will go? Because <laughs> yeah. we've actually yeah, spoken well, no, to people from, no, mind you, like Brendan um, had a conversation online with a guy from Stargate Command and said we're worried about, as a, as a show, he said we're worried about the break in continuity that's yes. been established mm. in over yeah, two so, seasons of the show and the movie. Yeah, so obviously, and and the, this guy said, "Oh, but you don't know the full story, though." It's like, yeah, but where are we going to squeeze that? That's yeah, where so, we're yeah, worried so obviously about. in the in the in the movie that they didn't know that they could open it, and then all of a sudden when the mm. series came along, they've they've opened it once, yeah, and mm. only once, and yeah. they and they lost and the Catherine connection. Didn't and Catherine knew nothing yeah. about that when when Ernest went through, right? And yeah. so uh, they closed it down and never revisited it, never went through yeah. that again. So this. So is- now it's like, where do you go? Because she had such limited knowledge, mm. um, she needed Daniel Jackson to decipher yeah. everything, and that was only because he had such knowledge of the, you know, the dynasty yeah. and the pyramids and his theories about them, this and that, and, da, 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 and using all the symbols. And she's like, "Well, that corresponds with so, all the all the stuff that I've had." So, I, yeah, like I'm glad you asked it because so this, I, this takes place as her as like a twenty something. So it's so after we during see, the war at the start of the film. You know, yeah. we see her as like yeah. a ten or eleven year old. Yeah. Dis- and she grabs her, the amulet. Yeah, and, and her dad discovers it. Yeah. It takes place between then, but before Ernest Littlefield goes through the gate. It takes yeah. place in that middle 45. bit there. So it's like, well, it's called Stargate Origins, but are they gonna? is she going to go through the Stargate? Like, is that... Well, like, exactly what you just said. That would be breaking continuity. Mm. That would be that would be hugely or they, breaking continuity. they're going to have continuity. to MIB Mind Wiper at the end of it for it to... <laughs> there, there'd, be, there'd be nothing you could do, essentially, without pissing off yeah. some... 
you know, diehard fans. Well, the or, the yeah. diehard fans because they're the only ones that are going to sign up exactly. for this shit. Have, have right. a look at this. So, this like, I want exactly, more Stargate, it's, but it's, because like, it has to be a subscription, there's a lot of hoops you're paying you to jump money through, to watch yeah. this. It is the diehard fans. So if you, you're going to be breaking continuity, you're going to be pissing off someone. Mm. Yeah. So especially, well, Link, um, have a look at this video. So this is uh, it's on Stargate Command that you can pay for. Uh, they had it there for four days, announced for free on YouTube on the Stargate Command wow. YouTube page. So you can watch it now. But it's a little three minute behind the scenes thing of they've just wrapped up filming. <laughs> Yawn. <laughs> So you can get a vibe for what it's going to look like. But that's the thing. Like, um, looks like they're using the gate from Atlantis. Mm. Yeah, it's different. There's, gate. there's no symbols on it. They're yeah, going to put so maybe it in. that's not the same gate. Maybe there's no the, symbols on it. Maybe the Asgard yeah. come down because they don't need a gate. Hey, and I'm just going back. Hey, so I can watch it's it. the episode we're talking about. She gets the memory drug. Come oh, on! Oh, oh shit! That is, not, that, is, that is not Boom. the same gate. No. No. Well, uh, Reese showed us a. Uh, Serious stuff. Like I'm fucking right. Whoa. He did a yeah, absolutely right. Whoa. There's, no, there's no symbols on the ring. <laughs> no, so I reckon they're going to CG symbols in later. And it's like, well, doesn't the old gate from the SG old gate straight up? Exist? It's a big yeah, rubber. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's a big rubber one that's going to be in storage somewhere, unless it's like decomposed a bit and it's not it's not yeah. held up. Uh, but they've made like symbols. I can cut them in my gate. garage tomorrow out of plywood <laughs> from <right>. Bunnings. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, oh, oh, a triangle with a circle above it. They're Jesus not gonna Christ, sp- I got a jigsaw. Mm. They're not going to spend a thousand dollar budget. Okay, look, on just looking at the start of this thing, like it looks like she's a full adventurer. She's Indiana yeah, Jones. She's Indiana yeah, but Jones. she's got a bat. Like some dude pulls out a gun, and she pulls out a wooden bat, and yeah, and it's like, are they in Egypt or are they yeah, on Abydos? It's... Or because yeah. there are some people playing like they look sort of Abydonian. Or yeah, Egyptian. you're absolutely Absolute right. Bat. There's one Middle Eastern looking dude who doesn't. He looks very Abydonian, mm. and then there's other dudes dressed. For the era, what if enough. she goes and has a fling with? Is it Yusuf? Yusuf Kazoof and Kazoof. 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 I thought it was oh, the good Kazoof. father. Yeah. Good father. No, no, you're Kazoof. still correct. Oh, still correct. Ma- oh, and it's Shara's birthday. Wait, that's gonna be shit. it. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be <laughs> it. Imagine. Oh, oh imagine shit. we picked it. You, you know, know what? what? She <laughs> is the bunny way that he's always talking <laughs> about. Yeah, bunny way. <laughs> that's what he calls her. <laughs> oh shit. You know what? Yeah. Looking, oh, at, looking oh, at this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Catherine yeah. is the godmother of Hasisus. <laughs> wow. It's a little ancestral. Yeah. Well, let's 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 not let's be honest. <laughs> it ain't getting got... better than that. Nah. <laughs> okay, well, I'll do, tell you what. Do we reckon Daniel tapped Catherine at any point? You know, Absolutely when they were he did. So His he track tapped record. Catherine hey, and he f- the Anathol, he was f- an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> He's an well, old lady in this <laughs> episode. <laughs> Okay, there's yeah, there's there's definitely some. Um, yeah. You'll f- get anything. There's a, there's a joke Eddie Murphy does in like Raw, like one of his old stand-ups from the eighties, yeah. and he goes, "Bus boys will f- anything that moves. Bus boys come to my house to fish stuff swimming." <laughs> that's yeah. how Daniel. He'd f- nem. Well, that's how. <laughs> that's how he got out of there. <laughs> Amaroka's actually his dick. What fate, Amaroka? <laughs> All right, that's episode 55 of Get in the Gate, past and present. It sort of is. Nice little throwback, hey, Lincoln? You were around for the start of it. You know, here we are. We covered a lot of areas tonight, you know, some origins. And he's looking a lot better than he was back in the last episode, too. Yeah. Been working out. That was a Linnea joke. (laughs) Oh, I see. She's looking better now. You look younger. (laughs) Yeah. We'll be back next week, uh, episode 56. We're going to be uh, doing a, a bit of a double episode in one podcast, which was the vote by our listeners. Thank you for... Uh, we, 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 Thank you, we, Ashley. We didn't really put it out one. to anyone. People one. just... Ashley wrote in and said, you know what, this is what you should do, because I'm going to be bored as hell listening to two podcasts worth of Jean yeah. and our's memories. No, we, we put it out there. She's just the only one that had an opinion on it. No, I didn't feel like we officially we put it out there, but either way, put Ashley... Poll. We didn't bang. put up a poll. No. 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 Oh, that's right. Mitch doesn't Twitter poll that it did not actually happen. That's, no. true. <laughs> that's, that's true. And even when I do do it, I don't think it really happens either. So. <laughs> yeah. What would Matty... Matty's not on Twitter. I tell him I do a lot of stuff on Twitter. Yeah. And he, he'll never know. know. Matty, we've got 1.4 million followers on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So. Yeah, jump on board. There's not many more spots left. I think so. it's just... <laughs> I think it's only 1.4. Yeah. <laughs> Our subscriptions are running out. Yeah, Jean of Memories <laughs> and The Devil You Know as one podcast next Sunday, which is, of course, Christmas Eve. And what else do you want to be doing with your Christmas Eve other than uh, talking with about your Jean <laughs> And, well, we won't even go into it yet because Reese hasn't seen it, so we're going to talk about it later. That is past and present. Thank you for joining us here on Stargate Sundays. We're getting to get my name is Mitch. You can uh, catch me, Mitch underscore Lewis, Twitter and Instagram. Matty? At Hi, Hi, Matty. Matty.
<laughs> oh, you running through them all race? Yeah, yeah, oh, race work. I thought Brendan. of it at uh, race is a. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that I've one. Been through this. Yeah, you told me last I'm week. I'm at the Brendan Gibson. Yeah, I, I just thought about doing it when Mitch was saying it, and then I'm like, oh, sh- stuff it. I'll jump in, and then it just. Yeah, it, good story. It sounded really <laughs> weird. So, yeah. Tune in for next week when uh, I'm at Reese's as well. (laughs) (laughs) And the show where get into Gates, all the socials, blah, blah, blah. You can check out our old podcast and And stuff. Link underscore Lewis. Thanks, Link. Link. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, thanks for having me back, guys. (laughs) Pleasure. Basically, thanks for driving me into the studio tonight, Link. uh, (laughs) It would have been rude to leave you in the car with a window down, basically. So, um, you know. That's right. There's a maximum hottest 100 here. We've been fine. Yeah. Yeah. We've been through it already. We've all been fine. (laughs) (laughs) Get into geek.com.